so here we are back in Wales so everything's just as I left it which is great the uh, grass on the roof is growing nicely hope you can see that up there so just got to uh, I've just been cutting some wood over there and uh, about to carry on with the walls here she is working hard with her broken knee there's the old knee brace on but she's still here she's still working she's dripping bark and uh, we're gonna work on these walls here together today slow and steady that's the plan maybe the same is true for these cars i mean don't you think the job of running the most vibrant city in the world is big enough for people to just want to do that and the real question to ask about this mayoral election is oh yeah the dinner time to uh rich boy with no cv for the tories So, got a good bit of progress going on here. So I started just there, going around there. Got some quite big bits of wood which are good because they take up quite a bit of space, makes things go a bit quicker. Yeah, it's a slow, slow process, but it'll be worth it in the end. It's cheap and it'll be insulative and it'll last a long time. And it looks beautiful, really, so. Yeah, it's going to take a long, long time. I mean, this has taken me five hours, I think, to do this much here. So that's hand mixing, though. So, yeah, we'll get there in the end. I could do with the, about 10 people working on it. it would go quick as anything. But that's what we're doing at the moment. Roof looks awesome. All growing nicely. The platform's looking good, drying out. I've got the uh, the wood there that I milled, which will be going up on that platform soon. Probably next time I come, maybe. I've got to uh, plaster these bags, so I'm going to bring some lime mortar, plaster them next time because I don't want the UV getting to them. And we're we're seriously making some progress. Once these walls are up and done, we're going to be uh, well. Once they're another two or three stacks high. It'd be window frames then, and once the window frames start going in, it's less wood to fit. So, yeah, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there. It's coming along. See, there's a cavity in the middle that I'm going to fill with sawdust to, uh, to give good insulation. It's so much easier now that the place is dried out a bit. So, yeah, I'll do a bit more, and it's going to be mostly doing this for a little while. Uh, for this video, just gonna be working my way around doing these. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll show you when I get a bit more progress. Here's what we did today. We got round to over there. So we did all this here, all the way around to here where the colour change. So not too bad. It's uh, quite a nice evening, so just splitting some wood so we can have a campfire, cook some dinner. There's the uh, there's the lake over there. Some geese in there this morning. It's loads of tadpoles. It's looking, it's coming to life a little bit. Still needs lots of work to do in it, but it's uh, the water's clearing and stuff. I need to. You see the diggers over there, but I need to pull that bank over and get the levels right and get some soil over it and so on. But yeah, we're gonna. Uh, Go to the fireplace just there, have a nice little fire, have some dinner. That's our camp just there, we stay in that bell tent while we're here. That's where we camp. Yeah, so we're gonna have a nice little fire, just trying out my new axe, Grandsforce Brooks uh, splitting axe. 
and yeah, sorry splitting more, it's a splitting more, yeah it's great, I over striked and yeah just hit this metal collar, so it was great, just did that pile in about five minutes, so all good. Just uh, down by the lake, just standing on the, the bank here, and I just want to show you how quickly life develops in a little pond, I don't know if you can see that, I hope you can, but there's just thousands and thousands and thousands of tadpoles and some weed, I hope you can see it, let me see if can see it. Yeah, they're just all along all those little black spots all tadpoles thousands of them so Oh, and here we go, some footprints here from, uh, from a goose I believe it is, I saw some in here this morning, so probably a goose, yeah, Canadian goose that is, yeah, that. and then over here where the spring is, where the spring's coming out, see the spring flowing in, and then we've got some weed down here, with just more tadpoles, just loads of them. Thousands and thousands and thousands of them. So that's how quickly life appears in a in a body of water. You can see all the little footprints in there as well from the geese where they've been splashing around. I don't know, maybe eating tadpoles as well. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you. It's getting some life into it. So I got round the back today. Uh, it's taking a long long time it's a very very labor intensive process i would advise but it took us two days to get round from there around to there so my calculation is that it's about five days to go around once so at that rate it's going to take us about two months on my own to finish these so yeah it's very very labor intensive but we get there eventually, so there's it from the other side. Okay, so we're packing up now for this short trip. I just uh, wheelbarrowed some rubble and stuff down here to make a bit of a track because I kept on uh, just sort of tripping up on these tree roots. So eventually I put some nice stone on top of that, but that sort of helps for a minute. And uh, just dug out this stump that was in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the entrance way. There she is there, so I just dug her out, looks better at the front doesn't it, much better, so just having a last minute pack up here, just clearing the stuff up, Melena stripped a few more logs for me for when I come back next time, and uh, yeah there's the back of the house, all looking good, so yeah, got to come back and just carry on with the walls. Got some stuff stored under the, uh, well, what I call the firewood shed, but it's just the storage shed now until we actually need some firewood. Got the roof done on that, looks quite good. But yeah, we're coming back in a couple of days' time, so uh, we just got to go back because Melanie's got to see the uh, specialist about her knee, and then we're going to come back again for about a week or so. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.